Okay. Hi guys. I'm here. So a little minute ago I actually deleted this video like maybe like a year and a half ago because some of y'all started finding out in the comments and telling who the guy was in the video. I didn't want to break up anything. But since it's been like years and I had messed up that video anyway, I'm going to come back on here and tell you guys and re-upload this video again about the Dubai millionaire that I met. He was famous guys when i went to dubai my first time so anyway basically what ended up happening was i had met a girl out there from ireland i love her so much oh my god we're gonna call her we gonna call her gabby okay so i met gabby in dubai we were both visiting alone uh gabby is from ireland i am from chicago so you know we were just like out just trying to see what was going on you know like kind of hanging out we had like two days left together and she's like oh you know like let's go to a club tonight and i'm like girl like what's up you know i ain't got nothing else to do so we just kind of like club hopping and stuff and you know so we end up at this one club and she's like oh my god that guy's a millionaire boxer and I was like, oh, who? I don't know him. And she's like, oh, blur, 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 blur. that's his name. And um, I was like, oh, I don't know who blur, 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 is. And she's like, oh, like, well, I want to go take a picture with him. Let's see if he take a picture. So I was like, oh, okay, like, cool. So we walk over to his section, y'all. She's like, hey, can I get a picture? And then I'm like, hey, can I get a snap with you or whatever? So he take a picture with her. He tells me like, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to insert that too. So I was like, okay, cool. Next thing I know, he grabs me. And he's like, no, don't leave the section. Like, I want you to stay. You're very beautiful. And I'm like, oh, oh, I am. Oh, okay okay and i just kept replaying in my head my friend said he's a millionaire boxer i was like oh didn't they say girls be going to dubai meet millionaires and billionaires and shit oh wow i didn't met mine when i'm about to leave in two days okay cool so we said so we just like chilling in the section with him or whatever his security guard um his cousin that's like a very well-known DJ in Dubai and we're still cool to this day like this man is like he got billboards got his own radio station all type of stuff like and he's the sweetest person ever so they had like some girls in their section that that wasn't that attractive I'm gonna say they were pretty basic females um and one was like all over him and he was married he's a, he was a married man okay he was a married man and i was like oh is that like his wife or something like is they like an old marriage and she's like no that's not his wife like no that is not his wife his wife looks way better than that so i'm like oh okay so okay he's married he wants me in his section huh okay yeah we we, we know how this is gonna go or well, how he thinks it's gonna go. <laughs> so, long story short, we ended up like leaving out the section and stuff because I was bored and I just didn't really want to be in there no more. Like, I don't know, I don't really like being in sections like that. I feel like it's it's just a bunch of people that's like crowding a couple of rich people that want to act like they somebody but they really not, you know what I'm saying? And the rich people just be chilling. I went to go on the dance floor and go dance. So I went on the dance floor and she's like, oh my God, like he keeps staring at you. Like the entire time we've been out here on the dance floor, like he's just been staring at you. And I'm just like, for real? Like what me like oh my god so i was like okay let's try to go back over there or whatever because i'm bored anyway and i want to sit down the security didn't let us in sis the security said ah. but he wasn't looking so i'm like if he would have been looking he would have let me back in period like don't play with me like 
I'm like, okay, we'll go get him because he just wanted he just wanted me to stay up over here. But I wanted to leave out because you don't have control over me. I don't care who you is or how much money you have, period. <laughs> and plus, I didn't know who you was anyway. So, they didn't let us back in. So, I was like, okay, now I'm going to make it a mission to get back over there because now you got me messed up. Like, now you trying to play me like I'm a groupie. I ain't no groupie. He was the groupie. Period. I asked for a picture, but so what? <laughs> so, um, he ended up, like, going to the bathroom, and my friend's like, oh, my God, he left. He left the section. Like, we had to go back over there. So, he's leaving out the bathroom, and he sees me. So, he, like, grabs us or whatever. He's like, why did you guys leave? Like, don't leave again. So, we in the section with him just chilling and stuff. And next thing I know, um, I think it was, yeah, his security guard. One of his security guards whispered in my ear and was like, he wants you to go back to the after party, uh, his after party or whatever. He wants you and your friend to come. So I was like, you know what that means. I'm like, but I want to see what type of crib he got, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never seen no Dubai mansions or nothing like that. So I'm like, okay, we gonna go. Like, we just gonna take a chance. And yeah, I know it's gonna be some 40 olds in the comments talking about, oh, you could have died, you could have got kidnapped, bitch. You would have went too. Okay, period. Like, if a motherfucking famous ass person, <clears throat> net worth over $300 million, you're gonna go to sis, okay? I ain't say I went like that, but I'm saying, like, I, I just went just to get a couple vlogs. I mean, get a couple videos, and hey, I'm here talking, telling y'all my story, ain't I? Shit, that's a once in a lifetime experience. I mean, it's not a once in a lifetime experience for me, but at the time, me being so, you know, like it's my first time out here, I went anyway. I gotta explain myself. So, um, we leave. Um, he went out like the, you know, like the, the secret way the celebrities be leaving out, and I went out with his security. So, you know, I'm looking cute or whatever. And, you know, body snatched, looking cute or whatever. And um, I'm walking with security. So, they're thinking, the people in the club at this point are thinking that I'm famous. They're thinking that I'm somebody famous. So, they're just, like, looking like, oh, my God, who's that, who's that? And I hear people, like, whispering. So, I'm like, oh, who's that, who's that? Oh, my God, she's famous, she's famous. So, we walk outside, y'all. It's paparazzi outside. I'm like, oh, he famous, famous. You not just famous, you're famous, famous. So, he's drunk, y'all. Like, not realizing what he's doing talking to like the press and he's like where's angel where's angel where's angel like is she in the car is she in the car i'm not leaving till angel's in the car i was just like what the fuck like how the fuck he even remember my name so anyway we end up like getting in separate cars because he didn't get in the car with us he drove his lambo and me and his security and my friend, we was all in um, our car and stuff. And then they had brought the other girls that was in VIP too. And then they called another girl over, which is my lovely friend. I am so happy. I have a friend that lives in Dubai now that's a female. She's so sweet, y'all. Like, she's so, so sweet. So we get back to the crib. I'm going to insert the video of us, like, walking in. Chill, chill. <laughs> I swear I'm not drunk right now though. Like, I swear I'm not. Beautiful house, y'all. I mean, like, when I say this house was so beautiful, like, floor to ceiling windows, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, everything just so modern. A beautiful pool, beautiful bathrooms, beautiful living rooms, yo, like. That's why he left? Man, this place was so like, this is like my goals on my future house. Like, this is my ultimate goals of the house. So, um, we just like chilling. So, he goes in and he takes Shorty upstairs. You know, they do what they do. And I'm just down to, you know, chilling with his cousin and his security guards. Because they was cool. They was cool people. Like, they did not try to disrespect me not once. Like, not even him. He didn't try to disrespect me. And it's just like, I'm that type of female when you get around me, you know not to play that shit with me. Like, period. Like, whether you a female or a male, you just know not to try me. I don't know what it is about my aura, but people know not to ever disrespect me or come at me sideways. So, they didn't disrespect me or anything. We was just listening to music, chilling. Um, so, his wife ends up, like, finding out that we were there. And she, like, goes off on, like, the security guards and all this stuff. She's like... 
oh, you guys are going to let them bring those whores back. Da -da 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 -da. So he's like, he stopped what he was doing with Shorty, I guess, and come downstairs and like run out, go to his wife. Next thing you know, he at the airport in like three hours going to um another country that he lives in. I ain't going to tell y'all all that because that's how y'all found out who it was last time. Anyway, so he went back to the other country that he was living in as well. And we just stayed chill with his, uh, his cousin and stuff. So the girl, you know, that just got, you know, that done to her, you know what I'm saying, upstairs. She over there from the cry, not realizing what's going on. She's like, oh, so he's just like, he just left. He didn't like, can, well, can I have his number, you know? And they like, no. Don't you know what just happened, silly? Like, you just got what you got you're not getting a number you're not getting an uber home they did her dirty bro like they was like don't you have a taxi call yourself a taxi and his cousin just didn't like them because of the vibe that they gave off like they gave off like they was just being like real like fans like recording everything let me tell y'all something i done hung out with a couple of famous people and let me just say this Famous people do not like when you sit there and record. Do y'all know how much they have to deal with that, bro? Like, just having somebody in their face, just, like, always recording stuff. Like, they don't like that at all. They don't. Like, they will respect the female that comes around them and not trying to make little snaps and stuff. Even though I did make my snaps, but they didn't see me do it because I did it on the lowest key, okay? <laughs> okay! But they don't like that. They don't like that at all. So, oh, um, you know, she ended up like, I guess, like getting mad, crying. They left. Um, I had kept in contact with her friend for a little bit, and next thing you know, he was all over the news, all over the interviews, getting caught cheating on his wife with her best friend, and all that stuff. And long story short, I got his number. <laughs> And uh, we started talking after that, um, you know, and we was planning to like meet each other in Vegas, but then that didn't work out when I moved out there. Um, and he kept texting me, just texting me. I wasn't even responding. Like he kept changing his number like every month. He just kept texting me like, hey, I miss you. I miss you. Da -da -da. I want to see you. I'm in Cali. I'm in here. I'm out there. Da -da 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 -da. Like he just kept texting me. It was so funny because like for some reason him and his wife's interviews just kept like popping up popping popping up on my youtube channel like and he's just like oh we're so great and i'm just like like live interviews bro where this man just texted me like an hour ago talking about i miss you i'm gonna come see you da, 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 da. like and we only seen each other one time nothing that ever happened to us like we talked on the phone a couple times after that facetime but that was it we never see each other again and he just kept texting me for like six or seven months but um I was like, yeah, that I, I don't want no bad karma from that situation, so cut that off. But yeah, so that's my millionaire story time. That yeah, I could say that's probably like the the a guy that I've talked to that had the most money because his net worth was over three hundred million dollars. Um but anyway, thank you for listening to my story time. Make sure you guys subscribe, like and comment. Um I got some more crazy stories of which which I want to hear. I don't know. Um shop persuasion extensions and shop my eyelashes. Thank you.